Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. You're back to Latifa did the Meiji Adetola. Finally reveals the truth between himself and Bimpe Oyubade. This movie star has addressed speculations about his marital status and he has finally put some questions to rest. Before now, himself and Adebimpe Oyebade, who is a popular Yoruba actress, have been breaking the internet and causing a lot of confusion on social media platforms with their lovely photos together. Adebimpe Lati was recently a guest on TVC's Your View program and he had a lot to say about his career relationship among other things that he spoke about. Also, regarding a question about his controversial wedding photo shoot with Adebimpe Oyebade, this actor made it clear that they are just friends too and the pictures were only taken for brands that they were working with at the time. He however used this opportunity to reveal that he is indeed engaged and he will be getting married very soon. Latif also explained further that he's taking his time before marriage because often times when an actor makes a wrong choice about a life partner, it can take a toll on his career. And he noted that there are a lot of things to put into consideration before taking the final step of getting married. So Latifa Didimeji is saying once again, yes, he's indeed engaged. His best friend is being Po Yebade in the movie industry. And the wedding photos they released earlier on was for some brands. Please stay with us, Ma, if you still want to know more about the background of this story. It was in July 2020 that these two, being Po Yebade and Latifa Didimeji shared mock wedding photos of themselves. First, the white wedding pictures, and the traditional wedding preachers followed. And all these lovely photos were taken by the popular photographer Soji Oni, who is a certified wedding photographer. In addition to this, there have been a lot of rumors and speculations about Latifa Didimeji and Bimpo Yubadi. Just some months ago, they said these two were expecting their very first child together. And also, there was a bit of a controversy about Bimpo Yubadi being involved with three men, including Latifa Didimeji and two other men in the movie industry. And they also confirmed that, yes, Bimpo Yubadi was pregnant and she was living together with Latifa Didimeji. And Latifa also came out and addressed all the controversies that were on social media platforms where he said the holy saint in you is god almighty we are only human and yes we are sinful and we have our own shortcomings so congratulations to latifa didimeji on his engagement indeed latifa didimeji is one of the hottest actors we have in yoruba movie industry he's one of the most sought after actors in yoruba movie industry where he's currently holding sway and winning awards back to back and over the years, Latifa Didimeji has featured with almost all A-list actors in the Obama movie industry. He has equally been an opportunity to work with ARD due to his writing progress. He has backed many awards, including 2016 Best and Hollywood Awards for Best Actor in the League of Yoruba, 2015 Best and Hollywood Awards for Best Actor in the League of Yoruba, City People Entertainment Awards for 2016 Best Supporting Actor of the Year Yoruba, Heritage Award in Atlanta for Best Actor Award for his role in Kudi Klepto, Oh, do a movie award for best actor award in 2014 and 2015 respectively city people movie award for best actor of the year yoruba 2018 and he's also the face of many brands both nationally and internationally he was born in osho the era of lagos state even though he grew up in jack Conde estate in a solo we attended both his primary and secondary schools. Later on, he joined an NGO organization, Community Life Project, where he acquired the skills to act and write. Latifa Didimija has been on stage since the age of 15, but started acting professionally in the year 2007. He landed his first major role in Kudi Club 2, which was produced by Yuan Dia Dekoya. It was this movie that shot him to the limelight, and his career has grown rapidly since then. This graduate of mass communication from Olabi Senobanjo University I've been in the movie industry for quite a while, but then it took him a time to be discovered. Well, for Latif, he did not have any problem with waiting because he believed that it is going to take time before things start taking shape, the things that you desire. The truth is that when you take your time to do something, you must ask yourself if it is worth the wait and the risk to build on yourself and the risk to build yourself on the necessary things you should build yourself with. So when you get into the real and bigger picture, You'll be able to manage yourself and stand the test of time. So for Latif, it is not only about the talents that you have, it is also about how well you have been able to nurture and develop your talents. 
So what happened during those years was that Lativa did image was taking his time to build a lot of characters. And Yakpeju is one of those characters, as well as the Igbo character that is seen playing today. And for Latif, he revealed in an interview that the fact is that you can't wear or stay one character for a long time. People will get bored and would want to see you in another one. So he has built enough characters that can last him for another 30 years in the industry. As soon as one character is out of touch, he switches into another character. So if you're lucky to have like 5 characters that can stand the test of time for another 40 or 50 years, then you know you're going to remain relevant for a long time. So he took his time in building himself on a lot of characters because he realized that when things comes, it might get a little bit busy for him and he might get caught up in the web of issues of life. Also, this young man never failed to mention that he had his training before joining the movie industry. He was trained by a non-governmental organization. His training was not from the theater world. He remembered that he started his training back in secondary school when the NGO would visit schools to pick some of the best students that they would take to the organization for proper training. At that time, getting formation across the grassroots people was always a difficult task. So the NGOs would go to secondary schools, pick the students and train them like 18 different topics and he said they will make you go through the topics to become a peer educator and counselor so that was where it all started for him so from that time on he built a passion for affecting people it was not about the acting per se that got him going but the fact that he would be able to impact knowledge in others at that young age so after leaving the institution he produced his very first movie Oshirigi, which he had veterans like Inga Kodri, Feti Abalugo, the late Bukia Jai, Bisi Komalafe and Joshua Ujo who is the movie in the Fuji House of Commotion. He actually directed the movie. Eventually, Latif Adidimeja had to join a car course in the movie industry. In the year 2009, he started putting calls to a lot of people. And eventually, he called Afiz Enola, who asked him to come over. And he confessed that he actually had to drop everything he learned before joining the movie industry. And even though he would be on set for days, he would only appear in one or two scenes. And the biggest then was even three scenes until he got his big break when he met Yuande Adekoya. Yuande Adekoya Beldon came to shoot the movie on my lemon show where Latif was with his carcass in Ibadan. And he was supposed to be in part one of that movie, but because he had issues with his bosses and they asked him to stay away from locations, so he did not get to appear in the part one of that movie. Well, when they wanted to shoot the part two of that movie, you and the Adekoya Beldon requested for Latif specifically, so she wanted him to be part of that movie. And Latif ended up shooting only two scenes. So when she was going to shoot her next movie, Kudi so she insisted that she wanted him still. You and they told him that. Yes, she believed in him. And it was exactly that movie that gave Latifa Didimeji his big break. And as they say, the rest is history today. We have come to the end of this episode where Latifa Didimeji confirms that yes, he is engaged. And we're saying congratulations to Latifa Didimeji. And he finally reveals the truth between himself and the Yubra actress being played with Yubadi. We hope you enjoyed this episode and learned one or two new things. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for daily content.